Honorable Peter Lokeris. When education was introduced, uh, education was introduced by missionaries. Also, the government then was introducing uh, new ideas of paying taxes uh, in the 40s of conscripting our Karamojong by force to the armed forces to fight during the Second World War. Uganda being that time the British protectorate, they started recruiting the Hebel Karamojong who could go and fight for the British. And of course, they succeeded in getting a good number. Some of them were taken to Burma, in India, others uh, were taken to Ethiopia and the whole of Africa. The people who were captured to come and join, be conscripted, uh, were being listed and they were asking their names, what is your name? And they were using something like uh, uh, a dry wood, which happened, which they called a pen. And the people of Mesa understood that is that thing which was writing the names, which was bringing evil to Karamoja. So they said, I think this is the thing which has brought us problems. Mm -hmm. So they went to their shrine, they started cursing whatever was being done, mm -hmm. with hope that their children would eventually come back. They buried the pen symbolically, and by coincidence, some of these people started coming back. So they believed that it is the pen which has caused these problems. So this thing was really resented, especially the pen, because of its use to write on a white paper and the name could be read. And from that time, they resisted whatever foreign influence was come to the region, including education. With the time, of course, developments were going, other places were developed, but Karamoja remained behind, lagging behind because of education. They remained in cattle rustling and so on. This story of the pen, the battle of the pen came up, and they said, okay, this one is a remedy. They consulted those wazes who were there that time, and they were able to direct the communities where this pen was buried. But they saw that before an earthing of this pen, it would not happen. Because the elders had performed their rituals, they had buried the pen here, and so to unearth that, it needed also a ritual to be performed, so that education would be opened in Karamoja. With Karamoja, illiteracy is high. They do not want to send their children to school. Early marriage and the first marriage is at the highest level. The Karamojong also have that belief that sometimes uh, when this girl child is taken to school, they have a problem of coming back to resume the normal life that is in the village. And they think if they go to school, they become prostitutes in town and they will not be able to be married with over 100 cows. <laughs> I think if people are educated in Karamoja uh, and uh, are given proper facilities supported by the government and other NGOs and UN agencies, uh, I understand Karamoja can, can develop. We really need a lot of support here in Karamoja, especially in education. Because if you look at Karamoja now, it's through education. Even this disarmament that is taking place, if we don't, if we remove these guns and leave these people to stay where they are, still we shall be having problems. We, uh, we are doing disarmament exercise. And uh, we, some time back we started burning, the, destroying the guns which we recover from the warriors. Publicly, they can see that we are, the gun is bad. The gun is bad. And it has hindered a lot of development in Karamoja. Now they are, they are supporting this uh, go back to school. I'm really interested in that. This gun, if it doesn't go, we shall have nothing to do and we shall not improve or even move a step. Mm -hmm.